Good morning. My name is Joseph Pond. I'm here this morning to discuss a blight in my neighborhood. You see, I'm a University of Georgia fan. When I moved into my house here in Georgia, I had certain expectations as to the quality of my life. Being a civilized dog, I did not expect that my neighbors would hang a Florida Gators flag on their front porch. Their house is directly across the street from me, so I am subjected to that obscenity every time I leave my house. That flag prohibits me from enjoying my front porch and my front yard. It is killing my property value. Who would buy a house across the street from a Gators flag? I do not like the Florida Gators, and my property rights are just as valid as theirs. If they must fly a flag, they should fly the American flag, or at least the Georgia flag. Gator flags do not belong in the city. They belong in a swamp somewhere. <laughs> okay, maybe I'm being rash. Perhaps we can allow such a distasteful thing through a special land use permit. It would certainly be the best use of the county's time and resources. A substantial fee would ensure that the neighbor can take care of the flag, you know, weed out the undesirables. <clears throat> As part of the permit, they would have to get the approval from the neighbors, and we could discuss potential buffering or screening measures to protect adjacent properties from that hideous blue and orange. Of course, we would have to review location, size, height, and architectural style of the flagpole and holder to make sure that it fits in the neighborhood. Obviously, if it were a proper flag, we would not have to do so. But since it is not, we must surely make them jump through these hoops. Let's take a moment to think about this. Does it sound clearly reasonable to you? What if you substitute house color or make of car? Does it sound better? Then why does it make sense if you put in type of pet? The Georgia Constitution gave local governments the ability to self-govern in the late 1960s, but did so under certain conditions. It must be clearly reasonable, and it must not violate the Constitution. This includes no person shall be deprived of life, liberty, or property. A week ago in the AJC, Chairman Lee said, there are folks who don't want to live next door to someone who has chickens, and their property rights are just as valid as someone who wants to have chickens. Yes, chicken haters have property rights. However, they do not extend into their neighbor's yards. Please do not confuse homeowner association rules with property rights. My property rights include the control of the use of my property, provided that the uses do not unreasonably interfere with public property rights, including uses that interfere with public health, safety, peace, or convenience. My neighbor's property rights does not grant them power over my pets any more than my property rights grant me power over my neighbor's choice of cars, color of their home, and yes, choice of their favorite college team. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Pond.